Stability balls make excellent training tools, especially if you're learning to squat properly or sit and stand in a position that doesn't put pressure on your knees or your back. So the best way you can do this is take your ball, place it against the wall, and put your low back against it so it just kind of fills in that natural curve of your low back. You want to make sure that you're standing upright, not leaning against the ball like this. You want to pretend that if somebody walked by and knocked the ball out unexpectedly, you wouldn't go anywhere. You're completely self-sufficient standing up. Think of the ball kind of like a conveyor belt. So your chest stays up and the whole time your low back starts on the ball and ends at the, on the ball with the whole back staying pressed against it. All you're gonna do is think about that hip hinge position we've already worked on. Hip hinge backwards as you drive your hips backward. Notice your chest stays up, your hips go actually behind the ball until you get into a full squatted position and then you stand back up. You wanna press the knees outward so they stay directly over your ankles. You never wanna have the knees dropping in and you never wanna have the low back pulling off the ball. At all times that back stays on the ball, the knees stay wide, the chest stays up. You may or may not be able to make it all the way down as you first start this exercise. And if that's the case, that's okay. Just keep it within the range that you can do it properly and eventually you'll be able to